Hello guys, I'm Silvershade and today I'm gonna show you how you can download all the images from a website like this. So if I open one image in a new tab, you can see it's a PNG image file. For this we're gonna use requests and beautiful soup. So to install them if you don't have it, just do pip install request space bs4 I already have them installed so I'm getting an output like this once you have them installed you can just import them like I do so just type import requests and then for beautiful soap I'm just gonna import the class so from bs4 import beautiful soup and then now we have to get the page so we're gonna use request.get so page equals request.get and then the url of that page so i'm gonna copy it and paste and then now i'm gonna use beautiful soup to help us parse the information from the page so to do that just do soup equals beautiful soup and then pass in the page dot content and then you have to pass in the parser i'm gonna use html dot parser over here so now let's print soup and see what we get Okay, so here is the HTML and if you see closely you can see the image links over here it's in the IMG tags so first off we're gonna find all the IMG tags using the beautiful soup find all method so IMGs equals soup dot find all and then pass in the IMG string So now if we print IMGs You can see it's a list with all the IMG tags I don't need the first three images which are probably from the navigation menu so I'm gonna slice this list so that the first three elements are gone yeah and i also don't need the last one so i'm gonna slice that off too So now I have j just the images which I need. So after this I'm gonna reassign the sliced images to IMGs. Now I'm gonna make a for loop trader through IMGs. So for IMG and IMGs. And then since the elements in IMGs are beautiful soup tag objects, we can easily get the SRC attribute using IMG.attrs, which is a dictionary. And then we're gonna use the dictionary method get and then pass in src so since we have no errors it's working fine i'm just gonna assign it to img link then now let's print the img link to see if it works So yeah, here we have all the 
links to the images so now since we have the links we're gonna just have to get the binary form of the images using the URLs and write them into local files so for that I'm gonna make a directory first and I'll call it cards and now to get the binary form of the images from the URLs we're gonna have to use request.get and then pass in the img link and its content is gonna be the image in binary form I'll assign it to the variable image so now I'm gonna use a context manager but before that I think I'm gonna create the file name or the path whatever you call it so file name equals I'm gonna use a raw string cards slash and then I'm gonna concatenate the file name from the link so to do that I'm gonna use img link and then I'm gonna slice it to img link dot rfind slash so what rfind is gonna do is that it, it's gonna find the slash but it goes from the end to the start instead of the start to the end so it's gonna find the index of the last slash and then return it so from there to the last character so now if I print the file name okay so there are two slashes so I'm just gonna remove one and now it's uh, it has to be right yeah so now it's all right now I'm gonna open the file using a context manager so with open file name in write binary mode so WB as file I'm gonna do file dot write image which is nothing but the content of request dot get img link that's all you have to do to download all the images from a website but to spice things up a little bit I'm gonna install a progress bar module which is gonna show a progress bar in our terminal so I'm gonna use a module called tqdm so pip install tqdm to install it and then after you install it you can just go and import tqdm to do that is do from tqdm import tqdm both have the same spelling so it's no problem and then now just create an instance of tqdm and pass in imgs in the for loop so if we run this now as you can see we have a progress bar over here so it's done we have all the images which were on the website 